Good morning, and Mayor Crim everybody. I'm fixing to get started uh, on my gumbo. Everybody been asking, they wanted to see me make my gumbo, so I'm finna get ready to start. And she do all, y'all know she already have a gumbo recipe on the channel. Um, a few of you guys, bless you. A few of you guys may know that already. Um, and if you just search Alicia Southern Crew and Gumbo, it'll send you to all the ones we have on there. Cause the seafood gumbo, and then Mama did a chicken gumbo and a seafood as well. So it should be three. Hopefully y'all can see. I am getting ready to make my room call for. First, I'm going to start with a cooking spoon. It can be a, a tablespoon, but I'm going to say cooking. I'm starting with four tablespoons of cooking oil. Vegetable oil, whatever y'all call it. Vegetable oil. I'm going to let it heat up a little bit. I'm going to let the grease just heat up just a little bit. Because I don't want my flour not to burn. To this, I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour. What I do, I look to see how the flour is. If it's too thick, I'm going to add me a little bit more cooking oil to it. And that'll, that'll keep it from uh, burning. I prepare my room now. Some some people you know do it different. So everybody don't cook the same. So my cooking my way, you're cooking your way. But I'm just showing y'all how I how I do mine. And I'm gonna get it to a back up. Color of a peanut butter milk. You know how the peanut butter, the color of a peanut peanut butter, because as you cook it, the, you know the more you cook it, you're gonna still kind of get brown. So this how I was taught by my mom. And as this browning, the only 
thing I'm going to add to this is a little garlic powder just to flavor up the flour. Because I'm going to put some more seasoning in my uh, stuff. This just, this just gives the, the flour taste. It's not that complicated. Make sure you don't have your, your uh, fire on high. So I got it on probably about medium. Definitely not going to keep y'all on here long. I'm just showing y'all how I start my gumbo. I'm not going to go through the whole uh, process because it'll take long. Gumbo filet. Seasoning with all the seasoning with uh, bell pepper, onion, celery, and I'm gonna put a can of uh, chicken broth, and of course my smoked sausage, and this is all my crabs. My shrimp. And I also have some crawfish tails. So that's all the stuff that I'm going to put in my gumbo along with the seasoning. So that's why I say I'm not going to keep y'all on here yet. No, I'm just giving y'all the, the first step. And this is smelling good, like I want it. And it's coming along like I want it. See how it's coming. A little bit more and this will be ready. So I'm starting with the uh, uh, chicken broth, and after I put all uh, my uh, tomato stuff in, and then my, I'm going to add me some water. Once 
once I get all this all stirred up and well uh, stirred, and you don't see no flour or nothing. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add my seasoning to it. And then I'm gonna transfer uh, to this pot. I know I'm gonna have to use two pots because I'm making a uh, a big pot of gumbo. So I'm just starting off with this one to make my root. And here go my seasoning. There y'all have it, my root and my seasoning. Like I said, I'm not going to keep y'all on long. And I'll show y'all probably, I guess Alicia might come back in the middle of it up. Or either. She'll show my gumbo. I'll probably let her come on when I'll be adding my uh, shrimps and crabs to it. And like I say, my gumbo my way, y'all gumbo y'all way, but this is how I do mine. Get this all mixed. Now I'm going to pour it in this pot so I can add the rest of my juices, my water and tomato sauce and tomato paste. I'm going to get my gumbo started. And a tomato sauce.
Now once all this start boiling, good. Once I get this all boiled, I'm going to add, like I said, my gumbo base. I'm going to have to get me another pot this size, and I'm going to half the, the, the liquid and the things up to, because all that crab and stuff in there is not going to fit, so I'm going to have to make two pots this size. And I got me another pack of these, but I'm going to taste it to see if I need the other pack. Because this stuff is strong. So to this, I'm going to add me some more garlic powder. You season to your taste. Just a little salt for right now. So I'm gonna let this come to a bar, y'all. I'ma slowly add my little gumbo base because this stuff will thicken up, and I don't want no gumbo base. No. So you just slowly add your gumbo base. If you want gumbo base, you don't necessarily have to have a gumbo base. All a gumbo base do is help thicken your gumbo. You still doing both of them, that one in the okra? See how it's not lumping? No. You gotta slow add this stuff, cause this stuff will lump.
Yep, this cook real good. I always put my uh, shrimps and crab last because you know that don't take long to, to cook and I don't want all my meat to cook out of my crabs. And I don't want my shrimp to get all tough. So. I got it, y'all. And like I say, I'm going to get me another pot and put half. So I'll make two pots. I think I'm going to go ahead on and, and do one pot with, with all this, and then I'm going to make one pot with okra. I changed my mind. I, I said I wasn't going to. I just told each I'm, I was going to save my okra, but I'm going to go ahead and, and fix it. So. Oh, I gotta move all that stuff off the freezer. And this is my okra. I'll put it there. Creole season, and I'm through the cooking process. I'm gonna taste it and see how much season that I need to add to it. So I'm not gonna just keep pouring season and season and season and season because I want it right now. I'm wanting it over season, and I'll put a little bit of pepper ripple in there. So. Like I said, I'm going to keep y'all, so I will be back. Okay, Lisa. Yeah. I'm back, y'all. I'm. It done made two. And about a half a quart of gumbo. This is my okra gumbo. I have here. My okra and crabs, crawfish, shrimp, and my sauce and all that in there. And this pot here just came out that pot because it was overflowing. And this is the same thing except the okra. This is the shrimp, crab, crawfish, sausages. And the uh, uh Crab, like I said, came out this pot here. And this is my gumbo with everything in it, except the okra. So all I gotta do now is make my rice. And I'm done. So y'all have a blessed Merry Christmas. Love y'all. Peace out.